trying to think of his name. Don't forget political poll. Oh, get this one. Hello, this is Tim Foster. Can we help you? Oh, yeah, we're, we're a nonprofit organization. If you can take us off the uh, list, that'd be great. Thank you. Should have known. Um, and it was time for a weekly meeting. We all gathered around the conference table. And we were all sitting there, and you and Arnold came in last. And you sat down, and you were looking down, and you didn't look at anyone. And Arnold, you know, said at 5 o'clock that I'm closing the doors. I have letters for all of you to take to unemployment. And then I remember I started crying. A little historical context here. Capital Weekly was founded in 1988 as a state government newspaper focusing on government employment, state government employment. It was a classified ad newspaper. But in 2005, Arnold and Karen York of Malibu purchased the paper and transformed it into a political publication focusing on state government, politics, the legislature, the lobbying community. In 2012, uh, Arnold and Karen pulled the plug on the paper. We ran out of resources and we, at that point, decided to stick together and try to keep this publication going online. Once the opportunity to take the Capital Weekly into the nonprofit world presented itself, it seemed like we could follow in the footsteps of the California Journal, and I was pretty excited about that. John, Kathy, and I created Open California to continue Capital Weekly and the other projects. And as a 501c3, we knew we would need a board of directors. So we reached out to people who had been supportive of what we had been doing, and they got right back to us and said, What can I do to help? You know, if you're not worried about the state of journalism now, I don't know when you would ever be worried. And I say that in a nonpartisan way. It's important in Sacramento, as there's big policy issues that affect California, that there is journalism that's getting in-depth coverage of those policy areas. When you walk around the Capitol and go into offices, you get a sense of what's important to those people. Uh, what's on the uh, desk? What's on the uh, table in the uh, entryway? And you'll find the Capital Weekly, you'll find the Top 100. All the things that really make everything happen for the state. Um, Capital Weekly is uniquely getting into all of those areas and really covering what makes everything happen ultimately. So Open California is a multifaceted uh, operation. We create publications like Capital Weekly, The Roundup, and Political Pulse. We also partner with California Channel to do a TV show, Politics on Tap. We have a thriving journalism internship program. We host four public policy conferences a year, and we also publish the Top 100. We've got a weekly podcast on California politics, and we've recently started the Open California Oral History Project to capture the stories of Californians in their own words. Our mission is to help Californians understand the governing process and to interact with the people who are forming public policy. The media industry is evolving, and many good news sources are being replaced by shallow coverage, entertainment, and one-sided, fear-inducing rhetoric. That's bad for democracy. So it's more important than ever before that we support organizations like Open California that are working to provide objective reporting, reason debate, and the context to better understand our world, and whose goal it is, is to educate and bring the community together. Please consider participating in in this important endeavor. Wow. The hum of activity here is incredible.